it's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we got a Cetreze uh, brewery from the Pyrenees, uh, Trezene Cerveza. Uh, this is their Obaga Brown Ale, and it's coming in at 5.9% ABV. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Brown elves. I'd say deep, am deep amber. Yeah, good levels of carbonation. Uh, one finger white head, good aroma. It's got, it has, you can get the roasted malt in here, the little bit of chocolate malt that's in the beer. It's been brewed with diff six different malts. And East Kent Goldens is the hop. Let's dive in, cheers. It's nice, again, easy drinking. We're in the Catalan region of Spain. In the summer, it gets really warm. Um, the, the owner head brewer was explaining that it's very difficult to sell anything that's really too thick, too, too. It needs to be refreshing. It needs to be a refreshing beer. Otherwise, people are just going to go back to drinking mass-produced industrial cerveza, Mahau, San Miguel, Estrella Dam. So they want to they want to move away they want to move away from that. But they're in a it's a bit of a difficult spot because yes, this tastes like a brown ale, but I think it has to be this light being in Spain because. Can you imagine the middle of June, July, August, September even in Spain drinking a big, thick, fat brown ale? It's not going to happen. People won't buy it. Because, of course, if, if you're unaware of Spain, it gets up to about 35, 40 degrees in the summer. But, this beer is terrific, but I have a dish here that's ultimately just as terrific. So this, this dish here is lamb, some lamb, but it's been kind of mixed with rice, so it's lamb and rice with some asparagus. Yeah, but it's absolutely terrific. Mm. And it goes so well. So well with the beer. It's really kind of almost deep fried. See the oil in my hands? It's a really fatty dish, but it goes so well with the beer. That fatty dish with the 5.9% mm, ABV brown ale. Mm. Yeah, asparagus. Mm. Tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. So, let's rate it. Food, terrific. Here's a look at the brewery, their, their business card. <coughs> We're up in the Pyrenees, the the, the mountains. It's just wonderful. Um, let's 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 rate the the, the beer. <laughs> you must understand that, and I I, I don't mean to patronise with, with with this video, but you you must understand that. It, okay, you could call this an amber ale. You could call it an amber ale. But there's enough chocolate malt in there, enough roasted malt to be able to call it a, a, a brown ale. And what I was getting at here is, yes, it's just the temperature. It just needs to be a refreshing beer in order to sell. In order to sell the beer in, in such a hot climate in the summer as is Spain. So I'm going to rate this. With that in mind, I'm going to give it a very very solid 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Milo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. And cheers.